Hey everybody, Mr. Eric Jenkins coming at you with a brand new video and today doing something a little different for this little sports retail rip. We've got two mystery boxes from the Fairfield Company. Company. These are the jumbo boxes um, that Walgreens and Rite Aids, if they're still in your area, have. Um, you know, packaged by the Fairfield Company. Uh, 80 cards, one manufactured sealed pack. One in four packages on average include a hit. Hit may include game use card, event use card, manufactured autograph or relic. Uh, last two boxes at my local Walgreens. No Pokemon cards, no Topps Chrome, no Contenders basketball, but we do have some baseball. So let's get into it for this little retail rip. Little reseal action right there. Oh no, this looks like it could be a dupe. Holy crap, look at that. Holy moly, it looks like a... Uh, boogers. <laughs> uh, if you enjoy this type of content, please consider subscribing as I am trying to get this pack open. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and uh, I just have to freaking dive into it. Um, leave a like or, or comment down below what you guys want to see me rip open next for my sports retail rip. Holy crap, this is uh, interesting. <laughs> Um, I've opened a couple of these in the past, and the pack is not going to be, most likely not going to be something modern or good. Um, but this is something if you just enjoy baseball cards, you enjoy, um, just opening cards, collecting cards. These are nice, um, you know, for someone that's looking to get a nice little collection going. So let's look at our pack. It's a leaf. Um, we have Donner's Baseball Puzzle and Cards. 63 pieces to complete the puzzle. What year are you? What year are you? Having a clue. Donruss Baseball. So we're going to leave that to the back. Let's start going through these cards. 80 cards per box. So I'm going to have 160 cards plus a box. Um, like I said, the cards aren't the best. They gave us a checklist card. Wonderful. Eric Davis, Doug Desenzo, Keith Atherton. Kent Telkville, uh, Paul O'Neill, that's a name I know. And a lot of these are just going to be old bulk. Uh, Phil Haight, uh, Tony Fernandez, every once in a while you do get a newer card. Uh, Moises Alou from Select 95. Jeff Connie, Wayne Tolson, Kevin Allister, Dennis Roseman, Manny Lee, Jose Arribe, Marvin Freeman. We've got a uh, the flimsiest card I've ever felt in my entire life. Fleer Major Prospects, Ken Hill and Dennis Cook. Jeff Pico. A uh, second Jeff Pico. Oswaldo Pereza. Uh, we have a Larry Sheets. All-Star Collector set from 86. Pure Wax era. Manny Trillo. Uh, Eric Davis. Monster Blaster from Score 91. Uh, Dave Magden. Uh, this looks like uh, Al Newman. It'd be nice if they put all the cards in order, like, you know, so I don't have to keep flipping. Jose Nunez. Neil Heaton. Matt Winters. Shane Mack. Robbie Thompson. We got a Brave. We've got a Brave. Atlanta Braves. Dale Murphy. Probably the best card so far. <laughs> Luis Gonzalez. Terry Full. Doug Corbett. I guess I'm just going to flip them now this way. I open these so you guys don't have to. Corey Schneider, John Crook, Mike Krukow, Tim Tietel, Teet Tietel, Ray, Ray Kianis, Charles Hudson for the ha first half of the pack. These are just going to go back in the box. But these are only five bucks. I mean, if you just enjoy ripping cards and like looking at cards, definitely something Okay, we have a modern card. Uh, this is a Jamie Garcia from 2018 Tops, probably Series 1. We've got a Matt Kemp. I know there was one pack where I actually ended up getting the hit, which was pretty cool. Um, unfortunately, it was a, just a random relic. was not the best card in the world from some random player I never heard of. Uh, BJ Sur Suroff, Dave Magden, Jim Lindman, Jim Gott, Storm Davis, Stormy Davis, 
Uh, Josh Donaldson, it's a name I know. Chris Davis, so we're getting some uh, some more modern tops right here. This is 2013. Uh, another Chris Davis. Patrick Corbin. Sterling Castro, looks like we got a Topps Chrome. Kevin Russo, rookie card. Probably one of the better cards from the lot. Uh, we have a Jacob Ellsbury. Cool. Kurt Suzuki. Apparently they weren't all in the same order. Uh, Minnesota Twins team card. Martin Perez. We have a David Napoli, Donner's Elite 2013. We have a Brendan Koch for Tampa Ray. Extra edition. Matt Holliday. Jacek Gorilli. Colton Wong. Cardinals team card, Chris Hazley, Topps Heritage, and John Farrell, manager card for your Red Sox. So, like I said, very, very basic cards, a lot of schlock, but, you know, for five bucks, you never know what you might get. Alex Sanchez, Ron Kittle, Milt Thompson, another checklist, uh, Gerald Perry, so two checklists so far have been ripped off, John Jaha, Reggie Jefferson, uh, we have Darren Dalton, Spike Owen, uh, Matt Maisie, Butch Henry, William Sereo, uh, Kevin Campbell, Mike Benjamin, and Her Herm Wingfield. Heard Winningham. Can't speak today. So, unfortunately, I've heard of maybe like 4% of those people. Let's open up our pack. Like butter, it just opens up. We've got the puzzle piece. Got rid of the gum. Stan Musial puzzle piece, baby. Bill Doran, Mickey Tetlin, Bill Gillerson. Oh, now I can figure out what year these were. Uh, we're looking at 88. 80, or 87 Leaf. Chris James, Kent Herbeck, Stan Jefferson, Carney Lansford, Wally Yoner, a checklist. Eric Show, Tom Candonotti. Tom Brukonski, Milt Thompson, uh, Scott Bales, and a Tim Belcher. So I am not expecting greatness out of this second box, but we are going to rip into it. Let me know down below if you've actually opened up any of this. Um, I've, like I said, I've opened up one or two of them uh, when I really just wanted to open up some cards. And they are doing something across the street. Holy guacamole. I think they're doing some tree work. So I apologize for any noise coming through, but we're ripping open to box two. Maybe we can get a more modern pack, but we're not. We got wax. That wax, baby. Oh. Well, I mean, it's pretty much... Pretty much uh, kindling at this point. Uh, let's go through it. We got a Huston Street. We have an Aaron Hicks, somebody that I recognize, and a Kyle Gibson... Going to your twins. Let's see what our pack is. Looks like we're probably going to get the same pack. A 90 Fleer Baseball, baby. Logo, stickers, and trading cards. Collect those sheets. Let's roll into this Wax Era Baseball. Pete Incogleva, Dave Meads. We have a World Series Rookie uh, Start Series going for your Tim Belcher. Alejandro Pena, Calvin Schiraldi. Woody Williams, we have a John Jaha, Brewers, going to Metal Universe, uh, Jackie Armstrong, oh, looks, look, at the, look at this, look at that, Mo Vaughn, Big Mo, coming from Select 95, putting that next to the king, no king. This is worth the price of mission right there. We have another Meadow, uh, Meadow, Meadow, Metal card, Roger Sedino, Andre David, Glay, Glenn Hubbard. Roberto Alomar. I do like the look of some of the 80s cards. It's just they're so... They're not good. Don Robinson. Ton Wurzel. Oswaldo Pereza. Mario Diaz. Uh, Donald Nixon. Larry Parrish. Barry Larkin. Okay. That's a name I know. I know Barry. I know my boy Barry. We got Ozzie Guillen. Another boy. I know. This is a better box. I should have I should have gotten this box. Danny Cox. Uh, Dale Mahoyerk. Jeff Robinson. I almost said Foxworthy for some reason. We've got a uh, Mel Hall going to the Yankees. It's wrong pile. I'm actually stoked in that move on. 
Mark McLemore, Ken Dowell. We got a Rusty Richards. <laughs> oh, geez. What a name. Rusty Richards. Debuted on my birthday, but not the year. But Rusty Richard, I'm keeping that boy. Greg Hagney, uh, Bob Scanlon. Bob Scanlon. Ed w Wilston. We've got a Jeff Reardon going to your Expos. Now your Nationals. Chris Carpenter. Uh, Wally Backman. Hot one, huh, today, Wally. John Shelby. Mike Galglio. Bill Schrodinger. Scott Cooper, Steve Peters, he's got two first names, Willie Frazier, we got Dave Meads, looks like everything's going to be, oh, Joe Oliver, now we got to flip her back around, Robbie Arelto, Johnny Ruffin, Tim McIntosh, Matt Stars, rookies, uh, we have a Dan Plesic, we have a Brad Ayersberg, Arnsberg, David Wells, or Dave Wells, as he likes to be called. We got a Fred McGriff. There we go. There's a nice Braves card right there. Nice little Braves card for me. Jeff Kunil. Kevin Gross. Kevin Brown. Uh, Alvaro Espiniza. Jerry Brown. Gary Redis. Red, Randy at the ready. Dan Gladden, Rick Leach, Randy Ruckus. Now we got a couple modern cards. We have a Hanley Ramirez going to your Dodgers. Chris Davis, all, uh, home, home Run Derby. And another Chris Davis. I think we got those two exact cards before. Uh, Dylan Gee, Heritage. Hanley Ramirez again. I actually had a Hanley Ramirez like triple patch auto. It was like my first big hit card, and I got rid of it. Uh, Ruben Tejada. Wasn't really worth much. Michael Brantley. I think I was just excited. I got a freaking autograph card. Joe Maurer. Uh, Blue Jays team card from 2018. That's a more modern card. Marcus Stroman. Uh, Garrett Smith, Donruss Elite. Austin Gomber. So now we got some more modern. Pete Bojeros. Chris Capancino. Canapo. Carlos Martinez. Uh, many healthy returns. Cardinals lineup ready to strike. And the last thing to close things off is that Uenzel Escobar. Let's close things off with our pack. 90 Fleer, baby. Baseball quiz. We'll do the baseball quiz at the end. Lloyd Mosby. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Wally Black, uh, Backman. Kirby Puckett. Kirby Puckett. Team. Dropping it. Checklist. See, you can get a checklist in the packs, but don't give me two in a box. Sid Bream, Henry Cotto, Vince Coleman, Rick Cerrone, Matt Marillu, Joe Oliver, Tom Foley, Harold Reynolds, Kevin Mitchell, Fred Lynn, and we've got our quiz. Here we go. Let's see how much I know about 1990 baseball. True or false, the Yankees have won more World Series championships than any club in the Major League history. True. When did the Yankees play home uh, home games in 1974 and 1975? Not a clue. How many American League ballparks are older than Yankee Stadium? So this is 1990. I'm going to guess four, and I don't think that's right. True or false, the Yankees moved to New York from Baltimore from 1903. I'm going to say that's going to be true. For No, I'm going to say it's false. So he said, true, having a clue, four, false. See what we got. True. Shea Stadium is the only... Or that's where they played their, their thing. Three. So I was only off by one. Tiger Stadium, Comsky Park, and Fenway. And true. So it looks like they did move. So that's going to do it for this little, you know, as I'm knocking everything over, 80-card uh, box from Fairfield Company. If you like to open cards, have fun with it. But you get a lot of schlock in the process. But, you know, I open it so you guys don't have to. Uh, let me know down below what you guys want to see me rip open next. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing for future content as I do a lot of Pokemon card unboxings as well as some baseball and other sports cards unboxings here on my channel. I just want to close things off by saying thank you guys for the, the overwhelming support over the past few months. I know I do say that a lot, but uh, especially during this time of year, I am truly grateful for the community that uh, has stuck with me 
um, here on YouTube as well as the card collecting community and the card breaking community. So I thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. And um, hopefully you guys have a wonderful and safe Thanksgiving. Even if you are um, staying in, just be able, just, you know, keep in mind, reach out to your loved ones as they, you know, do need the communication uh, as much as anybody during this time. If you are seeing your family, you know, big ups to you guys. I really do, you know, appreciate family more than anything in this world. So hug your loved ones if you're seeing them. Give them a virtual hug if you can't see them. Um, you know, and just, you know, let them know that you're there for them during this time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.